all right guys welcome back to another taming video i want to show you how to tame a shadow main first step you need to do is learn the ingram for the fish baskets you're going to unlock it at level 13 and make some one basket takes 60 fungal wood 120 fiber and 40 thatch you can find the fungal wood on the rockwell side that's where you're going to get it on genesis 2 i'll show you guys as you see the trees in the background there that is the tree you want to harvest that's where you get fungal wood all right so the first thing you need to do after that is you need to use these fish baskets and collect fish i recommend doing it on the eden side stick to the rivers any fish level 1.4 or higher is going to be the best thing to use on these things um, piranha are really small and the saber tooth salmon are tiny so don't use those guys as you can see what you do is you set the fish basket down and you try to get a fish if you see one of those hesperons the duck looking thing swimming around kill those guys they'll eat your big fish before you can catch them so regardless of whether you want to or not kill them get rid of them and then you catch these bigger fish so i just try to lay a bunch of baskets down you see you hover over it it's setting itself up and when it's ready you just click eat and you got a fish that's how easy that part is just catch a whole bunch of them i would recommend about you know six to ten depending on what you're going to tame if you're going to tame a high level one you probably need about 10 or 15. those are and they spoil mine spoil in about six hours okay so next thing you want to do is you want to go on the rockwell side the shadow mains tend to spawn near the water which can be very dangerous because those lobster looking things can come out of the water and knock you out so the next thing you want to do is basically look around and try to find one that you want to tame um, I recommend trying to find one like this that's by itself. If you can find one by itself, that's going to be better. You're going to have to clear out a lot of dinos around it. You're going to have to try to protect it because they can get hurt and they can get killed. I've watched ones that I was looking at die. Um, next thing you need to do is just kind of scout the area like I'm doing here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for that guy to go to sleep and kind of take a nap you do this in the daytime don't do it at night they don't sleep at night they run roam around at night so now i'm gonna go behind it here i'm gonna land somewhere hopefully safe and then i am going to take that fish basket put it in my last slot which is slot number 10 that's your taming slot and then we're gonna crouch down with the c button and i'm gonna sneak up on this guy so I'm going to go around this corner here, get out the water, hopefully he don't see me. And make sure I'm still crouched, because when you hit the water you stand up. So let's make sure I'm still crouched. Okay. And then we're going to sneak up. That's the C key for the crouch on the PC. I don't know what it is on Xbox or PlayStation. And you just sneak up behind it. Um, try to stay around its backside, like here in the middle of its back, so it doesn't see you. You just walk up to it, you're going to hit E to feed it, and get the heck out of there. Either sprint away or bolt up in the air real quick. It's gonna vanish as you see it's gone. So next thing you wanna do is land somewhere safe and put that guy in your tracking bar. And now I can track him and I can go find him. Um, and as I said during the notes, you may have to clear other dinos. It's trying to come around it, trying to fight it. If it's fighting things, I am. If it's fighting things, it will not lose this taming bar. Okay, so I, I did realize that when I'm doing this. So you can, you can let them fight things. You just wanna protect them so they don't die. The only time they lose the taming status that I've noticed so far is if they see you. So if you fail in your sneak, you got to start all over. So let's just see here how this works out. I'm going to show you guys. So it's it's walking around right there. You can see it walking. Um, I'm waiting for it to go to sleep again. And unfortunately, it's right on the side of the water. It can be very dangerous. There's uh, the jumping alligators in the water. There's piranhas. There's those stupid lobsters that knock you out. Um, start with an E. You, you whatever I call them giant lobsters stupid lobsters okay now I'm just gonna try to swim through this water and see if I can get close enough with the crouch and oh got hit by a piranha there you go knew that was gonna happen so let me try to kill these guys and see if I can get back over there come on get off they're stuck on the edge over there see how stupid they are but they annoy me can't get through here without killing them there's two of them here comes one Hopefully that's enough. This tech sword's awesome, by the way. All right, so now we're going to go back in here and see if I can get close. And see if I can crouch. As soon as I get up on the water, crouch. And it noticed me. Taming board is back down to zero. Like I said, you mess up, it's starting all over again. So you can, my daughter did one of these at like level, I don't know, 30 or 25, 30. It took her like five hours because it kept 
messing up. So as you can see, I went forward again, found it again, tried it again. Um, eventually, I just gave up. Um, I kept failing over and over again. So then I tried this because I heard if someone say, if you trank them, my daughter told me this, and trap them, people try this. So I built it one high, but eventually I raised this thing too high. I built some foundations under it, built it too high, and tried to trap it so that way it would stay in place. And I went and got some more fish, and when I came back, lo and behold, it's not in the trap. So it doesn't always work. So you can net them and trank them. You can trank them, but they're going to get out of that thing. So um, I don't know. If you can lead them into a trap, maybe that work. If it was a big trap, possibly, and where you don't go to sleep and they don't glitch. I think he just glitched through it because I built it around him. But my daughter made a trap and got one of them in the trap. So um, that does work. And you can just sneak up on the trap when they're sleeping. You have to leave the top open so you can see. So let's just sneak up on this one, and I'll show you guys again. Fed it again, and you bolt. So eventually I just gave up on that one, and I found a level 15 that was by a level 20. I killed the 20. I killed a bunch of other dinos around it, some uh, Trudons, all kind of stuff. And um, I fed it three times already. So this is, uh, I think it's going to take one more time. I had to go catch more fish. Um, left it, came back. It was still good, so... Um, as long as it don't die, you're pretty good. It won't lose its taming. Oh, what is that? Oh, that stupid Dillo. I forgot about that guy. Here, just, just die already. Get my sword out. Come on, come on, kill it. There we go. Hopefully that shadow main's still down. Yep, still there. All right. So first time you tame one, you're going to get a lot of information from Helena. So I'm going to shut up when she does this so you guys can hear what happens. Because I actually do succeed here. Um, there's a dung beetle right there. So let's just get through these. You can't walk straight through these guys. So I gotta kind of alter. Hopefully, I don't wake it up. Turn around and feed. Now that is one formidable looking predator. I think it's some kind of chimera. Part cat, part spiny tropical fish. All trouble. It seems to have unusually good camouflaging abilities, too. What would you name something like that? Oh, how about Shadow Mane? There you go, guys. That's how you tame one. Um, that's a short version. I filmed like five hours of attempts and finally got this one tamed just so I could show you guys how to do it. So hopefully this is helpful. If it was, please like the video. I do appreciate your likes. And if, it, if you want to watch other videos like this, please subscribe. I do videos like this all the time. Um, but there you go. There's a taming video on the Shadow Mane. Simple way to do it. It's very difficult and takes a while. Thanks for watching. Over here, mate.